my two-year-old son. Um, we can't find him. This is one of the last photos taken of two-year-old Dior Kuntz. He loved camping. He loved being outside. He wanted to explore. We're trying to unravel a mystery. Dior's mother claims her son vanished during a family camping trip. But to where? To get answers, we went to a reporter who's covered the story for more than two years. Obviously, when, when news first broke that this little boy went missing. I think it makes everyone kind of go home and hold their kids a little tighter, hug them a little closer. So you have a community that wants to find this little boy. Okay, so this is where we are in the search to find him. Police have three theories about what happened to Dior. The first, animal attack. The second, Dior could have been abducted. The third, Dior's own family could be involved. It's a two-year-old. Two-year-olds just don't moonbeam up somewhere. The boogeyman didn't come get this child. That's Philip Klein. He's a private investigator that worked with the Kuhn's family. He was paid to search for answers about what really happened to Dior Kuntz. We interviewed him, hoping that he could help us get beyond the sheriff's three theories. Our job is, is to investigate, put evidence together, bring it to law enforcement. Here's where we are, and here's where we think the, the, the child is. Klein is about to share something with us. Five months after Dior disappeared, he interviewed the people who were at camp when Dior vanished. Dior's mother, father, great-grandfather, and his friend, Isaac. The Limhi Sheriff told us that he's seen that interview video as part of the investigation, but that's all he'd say about that. We should tell you up front that the investigator working with the family, Philip Klein, thinks someone isn't telling the truth. I don't remember what he said to him. The last thing that I said to my son. When my grandpa said he would watch him, I was all for it. I was excited. And that kills me because it was my idea. Like, oh, yeah, let me, I want to go fishing. Like, every day and every night going to sleep and knowing another day is going by and we still have no idea. We don't know if he's alive, okay, out there somewhere with somebody. As much as I've searched that area, as much as our family has searched that area, to come up with absolutely not one shred of anything. It wasn't an animal at all. Let me... It was a different kind of animal. This is the campground where Dior vanished. I remember asking my grandpa, are you sure you're okay with him? And he said, yeah, he's fine. He wants candy. And I is that okay? A lot of families, a lot of parents have been in that similar situation that Jessica claimed to be in. Oh, we thought Dior was with Grandpa. Grandpa thought Dior was with us. And that's happened before to a lot of parents. He said, well, he was sitting right by that tree right there. I couldn't tell if he was playing in the dirt or if he was playing with his shoe. He couldn't remember if he had dozed off or lost track of time. Okay, so this is where their stories start to contradict. Remember, Bob and Jessica are family. He's her grandfather. During the interviews, they explain how Dior vanished very differently. We all probably got a different story. So I don't know what happened. That's all there is to it. Do they ask you to watch little Dior? That's what I hear. Okay, that's what you hear? That's what I hear. That's what you hear from them say? That's what I hear, I didn't know whether I heard her by, they said that. Okay. This is one of the key differences in their stories. Jessica says that she asked her grandfather, Bob, to watch Dior, but Bob won't confirm that Jessica asked him that. I don't remember that, but I was watching him anyway, you know? They said, oh, I... What do you think happened to your grandson? I don't know what happened to him, for sure, else I would let you know. What's your guess? <laughs> What does your gut tell you? What, I mean, huh? we all have a gut. What, I mean, what does your gut tell you? I don't really know. You probably noticed Bob's oxygen tube. He's not well. Jessica worked as her grandfather's caretaker. It's not clear whether she volunteered or got paid to help, but both she and Dior's father say that taking care of her grandfather, Bob, is why the family went on this trip in the first place. Jessica's not known to keep a job long. 
And the fact that she had this one for six months was because of Bob and she enjoyed taking care of him. Do I think Jessica did anything? No, because she was there with me. I believe Bob knows more than what he's telling. It is my fault for allowing Bob to watch my child. But I will never forgive Bob for letting my son get out of sight. I will never forgive him. Do you trust Jessica 100%? When it comes to my son, I did. When it comes to, like, any life decision, no. The only thing I could ever that I ever thought was maybe she, she knew something about Bob and was worried about Bob spending what life he's got left in prison, and that was eating at her. You seem to be close to Jessica. Yeah. But were you like uh, affectionate with with the baby or? No, I don't pick kids up and stuff like that. Okay. Give them the kisses like the women. No, sir. <laughs> well, why would you and your husband leave that little boy up there with a guy that's on oxygen? Just because you've done it before? Because he was tired and I knew that he wanted to hang out with Grandpa. My first thought was to get to the, the meat of the matter. We wanted to find out as much about the dynamic. Throughout these interviews, they all began blaming Isaac. He's the friend of Grandpa's who joined the family on the camping trip. I just talked to my mom about like, okay, are you, like, is there something that you're worried about with Grandpa? specifically or what she just said, I just don't know this guy, Isaac, never heard reputation lies or anything. Nope. Just what my grandpa had said to me about him. Like, oh, he's kind of weird, but or he's kind of odd is his exact wording. He's kind of odd, but he's a good guy. Why did you invite Isaac up to this particular camping trip? Oh, I don't really know why. He just goes along sometimes, that's what it is. Okay. We haven't found any video of Isaac's interview, so we went to track him down ourselves. Watch episode three now, where we ask Isaac what happened at that campsite. Uh, I'm not sure if I should release a whole lot of information.